Hey everybody, I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV and this is the Modbug 10RK. It's made by Modern Buggy, hence Modbug 10RK. And this is a 2024 model. It's only 12 and a half feet long. Now that includes the tongue. If you don't have the rooftop tent like we do today, it'll fit in your garage. Great features in this thing. I'm excited to show it to you. Let's get started. The inside of a 10RK Modbug is just so comfy looking. And guess what? It is. These cushions are super soft, not the flat thin ones you might see in some of the other off-road trailers like this. Really soft. You've got about 41 inches between the ceiling and the top of this cushion. So it gives you a fair amount of headroom if you're sitting up in here. Let's take a look at all the storage back here. These three cabinets are all about 12 inches deep and 18 inches wide, so you get a lot of space. Beautiful wood look. This one is completely empty, as is the center one. Now the one on the end, that has the air conditioner in it. So you open that up to turn on the AC when you need it. Open cubbies underneath, of course, so really versatile space. And the center one is gonna have the charging center in it, the 12 volt plug-in and the two USBs. You'll also see that same charging center on the ends here. And this has the USBs, the charging center on the other side, along with the 110 plug. Up here, you'll see the lights for the inside and the outside. The centerpiece here, this is the uh, converter. That's gonna convert shore power to battery power. And you pop the cover open, it's gonna have all of your breakers and fuses in it. More cubby spaces here. And I know we'll have a question. These are just nice pillows to use, but they are leaning up against the front of this teardrop. So there is not storage back there. You do have though the nice blue lights, which is super nice to kind of give you that ambiance in the evening when you don't want these bright lights overhead. The fan in the center is reversible. That is really nice because depending on the weather, you may want air to either be pulled out of the camper or bring fresh air in. Either way, awesome. Doors on both sides, of course, like most teardrops and windows that open. So you can get a lot of breeze coming through here. Super comfy. I know one of the questions, the bed size, it is 58 inches wide, 75 inches long. So it's a little smaller than a queen, but still a nice size for a trailer that can literally go anywhere and fit in your garage. All right, let's step outside and take a look at all the features out there. Now on the outside, there are several different options. In the beginning, I mentioned there are different colors out here. You can get a white, a gray, a black, and different graphics. So be sure to check their website. Take a look at all the option combinations that you can get there. This is the nice steel fender that is going to allow you to step up work with your rooftop tent or the awning. Now, both of those are options on this trailer. Uh, that rooftop tent's gonna add about 100 pounds, so keep that in mind. Uh, the trailer itself is 1,200, um, but you can stand on this and it can hold up to 300 pounds. The nice large 15 inch tires here, the off-road, uh, the spare is right here on the side, so it's very accessible. Coming around to the back, that's where you have the rear kitchen. Now, this is a 10RK. The RK, rear kitchen. I really like the handles here. They do a really nice solid feature here where they go flat and you pull them out and twist them to unlock them and then open it up. Lights right here on the side. And look at this great space. This is the Corian countertop that you'll see in some of the other modern buggy products. And your Dometic refrigerator is right down below. 
Now this is a 12 volt. You plug it in right here on the side and turn it on and off. You can set the temperature to be a freezer or a refrigerator, whatever works for you. Slide that right back in. Over here, you'll see a drawer. Now this is only about 12 inches deep. And you know, as far as how long the drawer is, maybe about 10 inches. That is because you have other gear back behind it. Push that right on in. Storage right up here, you've got a nice space. Cabinet here, it's about a foot deep. Another one right here in the center. Now in the back of that, it's not quite as deep. This is only four or five inches deep. You do have the water pump on the left because that will allow water to come out of your faucet here. The 110 plug in the middle and the charging center with the USBs and the 12 volt port in it. The sink has a nice high arched faucet on it and a 10 gallon freshwater tank underneath. So, you know, that's gonna work great whether you're in a campsite or whether you're boondocking. You know, one of the great things about boondocking, this has a really cool solar panel on it. Let me close this and show that to you because it is actually on the hatch of this kitchen. So this solar panel is removable. And the way you do that is unlatch these right here and it lifts right off. So that's how that works. I'm not gonna pull it completely off, but there is a 12 foot cable behind this. So you can park in the shade and then take your solar panel and put it 12 feet away from your camper in the sun. You know, we're in Texas, so that's huge for us. Portable solar panels that mount to the back of your hatch. I don't know. I think that is a super nice feature on this type of trailer. And then you just latch it right back on here. You see, it's pretty easy to do. First thing I thought of is, could this just get stolen? And of course, it's got a spot here where you can lock it into place so that it can't leave. All right. So lots of great things. This has got some steel framing in it. It is an enclosed underbelly. You have 20 inches of clearance on this trailer. So it's made for getting away from it all, going off the grid, having some fun. The rack on top of this mod bug, it can hold just about anything you wanna throw up there. I tried to look on the website to see what the weight capacity is, and they say, don't worry, you won't overload it. So this tent, as I mentioned, is 100 pounds. The rooftop tent folds out, it's a two to three person tent. It is an option on this, but if you preferred bike racks or maybe some pod storage, any of that would work great right up here on this rack. The steel powder coated box on the front has a lot of room for storage. What it also has, your AGM battery that comes with the trailer and the solar controller on the back here, as well as the battery disconnect. The props hold it open so it's easy to access what's in there and then it just pops closed. Standard jack on the front, diamond plate on the bottom here as a rock guard. You know, you do have the protection of the box, but nice to have that across the front here. And that brings us back around to the awning. The awning and the rooftop tent are optional, but what great features to have on this teardrop trailer. Now, as I mentioned, this is garageable. Not a problem, but you're gonna be about six inches over the standard garage entry height if you have the rooftop tent on. So keep that in mind. Now, features and options, they can always change on these trailers. So be sure you check out the details if you're looking at the mod bug on one of the dealer websites. All right, thanks so much for watching. It's been a ton of fun walking around this mod bug 10RK. I'll see you next time.